so the next question we're going to do is section 7.1, question number 19, which is going to be 10u to the 3 halves minus 14u 5 halves du. So basically, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to solve for the antiderivative. So I know it has fractions on it, but it's actually pretty easy. So to find the antiderivative, what we're going to be doing is, of course, adding 1 to here. Now, even though it's a fraction, see how it has 2 on the bottom? That means we're just going to add 2 to the top. So that's going to be u 5 halves over 5 halves 10. Okay? Subtracting, we're going to have 14 u, we're going to add 2 to the 5, which is going to be 7 halves over 7 over 2. Now, in order to find uh, just the uh, simplest form of this, what you're going to do is that you don't want these, two, you don't want 5 and a half and 7 and a half in the bottom. What you're going to do is you're going to bring them up. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply them by the reciprocal, just this number here. So these two are going to go together, and then these two are going to go together. So basically, it's going to be 10 times 2 over 5, which is going to equal 4. I'm just going to make it easy for you. You can just plug that into your calculator. So it's going to be 4u 5 over 2 minus uh, 2 over 7. So it's basically going to be um, uh, 2 times 14. So if you want to see what you're actually going to do, it's basically that just means 14 over 1 times... 2 over 7. That's going to be um, 28. 28 divided by 7 is going to equal 4. So we got actually kind of lucky here. They both equal 4. So this is going to be 4u to the 7 halves. And that right here, oh, plus constant, of course, since we're doing it that way, because the du is right here. And that is going to be your answer for uh, question 19, section 7.1.